The way I was stalking my mailbox and messaged this brand owner when both my kids went down for a nap this afternoon to ask if I could show this palette. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I think I might have scared them because I was like, the greens in this palette are blowing my mind right now. And uh, yeah, I think I might have come off a little strong. But if you guys want to see testing new makeup episode number 14, then just keep watching. Okay, so not to be dramatic, but I have been kind of just enjoying the nice weather and this was the motivation I needed to get my ass up and film because I did get my hands on the new Secret Garden palette from Bella Butte Bar. Oh my god! Before we talk about this though, I just want to show you guys the rest of my Sephora sale order. So I was actually going to make a video trying all the makeup I picked up during the sale, but I'm definitely going to have to substitute the eyeshadow palette that I have in here with the Secret Garden palette, but I still have some good stuff. So this was the online order I placed. It finally arrived. And then I have three more orders. I didn't order a ton of things. I just happened to like order things as I remembered, so I had to place a few orders. But this was a video I was gonna do, but we can do this some other time. Everybody's done a video on this. This is the Danessa Myricks Groundwork 2, Groundwork 3, Groundwork, Groundwork Blooming Romance Palette. I was convinced, okay, we'll see. I figured it's a sale, let me grab it. And then I did get this one off the Natasha Denona website because I was a creator and friends when this launched and we all agreed there was no way this was coming not broken if I ordered it on Ulta. So I got it in the shade medium. I'm gonna use that today. And then I grabbed the blush from Patrick Ta. So I have that. Or I have this other blush that I might try out. It's the one from Give Beauty. This is in the shade Marigold. I was patiently waiting for the sale to order that. I already used this product. It's the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm in the fragrance or flavor Sweet Candy. My lips are so dry right now. I have a cold, so like my whole nose is just like stinging every time I put moisturizer on it. So I really need to hit it with Aquaphor tonight. Need to remember that. And then I also grabbed the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Melting Bronzing and Sculpting Stick in the shade Chocolate Caramel. I'm so excited for this. Got to see it in person in New Orleans, so I cannot wait to put this on my face. So that is it. I didn't order a ton, I swear. I will say I have at least one more order I want to do because I have a few things I want to pick up. But I did put on the foundation I picked up from the sale. This is the Urban Decay Face Bond. I honestly think this is a beautiful foundation. I feel like a lot of people are really enjoying this. So this is the shade 23 medium neutral in case you're wondering and then I just did concealer and stuff but I don't have any bronzer on so let's go ahead and try this. I feel like there's four shades in this bronzer and typically I would have thought I was shade three but I thought shade number two was more my vibe because it wasn't cool tone it's like more of a warm tone and this bronzer is very much like Definitely like a melty bronzer, really good name. So I'm just quickly gonna blend this out with my Sigma multitasking brush, which by the way, this brush is awesome. And the brushes that we got in the Sigma goodie bag from the trip are available. I did use them in my video yesterday. So if you haven't seen my video from yesterday, Highly recommend checking it out. Okay, so this bronzer is like definitely melting away into my skin. It's a bit dewy. I see it right there. But maybe should I do a little bit more? It's so creamy. It's so creamy. I'm scared I'm going to snap it. I'm going to try and just like press it into my... Yeah, I can see it. Oh, that's cute. I don't know if I'm going to say it's like love at first sight, but it's an option and I was curious enough about it to pick it up during the sale. So that's that. But the foundation, I feel like it's a little bit love at first sight because 
it just looks so flattering so I love that and it wears really well over a long period of time so that's all I'm gonna do with my face but now it's time for the secret garden palette from Bella Beauté Bar so if you haven't heard of them they are a indie brand and I got added to their PR list so this is a upcoming collection and I just talked about this on my new makeup releases video that I posted on Tuesday but they're launching a few other products with this they're launching these beautiful looking lip oils they're launching a brush set they're launching a gorgeous looking empty magnetic palette I don't know if there's even more things coming but definitely stay tuned so of course like a good youtuber I have close-ups and swatches so let's roll into that Secret Garden 25 Pan Eyeshadow and Pressed Pigment Magnetic Palette, 8 Specialty Multi Chromes, 2 Specialty Holo Chromes, 15 Buttery Mattes in our best selling formula. This will be priced at $75 and it says this is a direct reflection of the cost of the Specialty Chromes. Now I do have an affiliate code so if you want to save a little bit and you want to help me out you can use my code it's KH Makeup. And this palette will launch on Monday, April 22nd at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, which is 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. So please go ahead and set your reminders, your stopwatches, you know, whatever you need to do because this palette is stunning. I'm ready to slap this on my face. I feel like it's been a hot second since I did a green eyeshadow look. So green eyeshadow look incoming. You have been warned. I am going to start off with the shade, should we start off with the shade Lock and Key, it's the dark green and of course I got to put it on the outer corner. I changed my mind, I want to use my unearthly brush because I want to do a full liner kind of look. But how have you guys been? I feel like I posted some videos, but I feel like I haven't done a really great job of like keeping up with the comments and stuff. So let me know how you guys have been. What are you buying for the Sephora sale? Because I was out of town when I posted my Sephora sale video. So I feel like I didn't really get to talk to you guys about what y'all were all buying. So I want to know because I'm nosy like that. I want to know what my friends are grabbing so I might want to grab them too and yeah share with I think I've shared with you guys almost everything I picked up I think I've spent I want to say like $500 but I don't think I have maybe it's like close to 500 but listen I just went on a vacay that I paid for with my YouTube money and I am ready to go on another one like I need to start saving so that I have money for another one but I also have been so tempted by all of the sales the Sephora sale and then do you guys shop at Target because Target Circle is having like a major sale and there's like all these cute things that are on sale that I kind of want to grab and I have a trip coming up with my husband. We're not going very far to a big city that we can drive to, but we had planned to see the like the traveling. I want to emphasize we're going not to New York, but we're going to see the like the traveling Broadway version of Lion King. I think I told you guys when we bought those tickets that it's like my husband's favorite like Disney movie. I mean, he grew up in South Africa, so he loves the Lion King. I'm going to go into the shade it's so ah I suck at reading script oh my gosh anyway I'm gonna run that just along the middle here in the crease and the lid I did feel like this one felt a little bit rough when I was watching it the matte shade so just you know keep that in mind and let me know if you guys notice that when you end up with this palette but Let's see how it applies. These do feel a little bit dry, um, but that's okay because honestly, with these shades, I would rather have to sit here and build them up than them being completely opaque and like, kind of like you can't hit undo <laughs> on an eye look, you know? So I'm just giving you guys a little bit of a heads up that these are a little bit more 
of a build up type of formula, not so much like a, okay, two swipes and I don't have to blend anymore type formula. So, not as buttery as I remember, but that's okay. I'm still able to blend them perfectly. So, just a, just a me being a little bit of a reviewer. Okay, I'm going to go into... Should I use this one? Oh my god, I can't read these. It's a shade called Lily. It's like a pastel -y green. And I just want to use that on the inner portion. I think that's going to be a really pretty inner corner, like, matte highlight. But I just want to make sure I give it a really pretty gradient. But anyway, sorry, I was saying, yeah. So we're just going to go see the... Like the Broadway musical, not on Broadway, but I'm still really pumped because it's like a lifelong dream of his and we're not going to take the kids to the show because I honestly think they might be kind of terrified. Hopefully we don't regret that, but we do a lot of stuff with our kids, so I feel like I'm not going to feel too bad. But that's just what I have going on in the next couple of weeks. Okay, I'm going to take this Natasha Denona eyeliner in the shade Willow and throw it in my waterline quick. I feel like I'm stalling because I don't know what to put on my lid because there are so many gorgeous freaking eyeshadows. The metallics in this palette are beyond. I mean, like, holy smokes. This is a stunning palette. I feel like nobody's surprised because... All of the Bella Butte bar launches this year so far have just like knocked it out of the park. Not that I was expecting anything less from Deandra Nicole and Bella Butte bar or their Valentine's palette. But I was watching Heather and Angie's video that they did in New Orleans and they said like how, you know, we just love makeup. Like... I will still squeal like a little piggy when I swatch a palette that I'm like super duper excited about and this one made me freaking squeal. Like you guys saw the swatches. I don't do anything fancy when I swatch. I wish I knew how to do like all the fancy tricks and like make them just come alive. I do my best. I definitely will keep trying to improve. But I try to make them look realistic as possible, not to hit them with too much light. I try really hard not to wash things out and, you know, always try to improve things. So I feel like I did a good job with these swatches, but I still feel like the only way I could really convey how amazing this palette is is if I could hand deliver it to you to swatch it yourself, but like... This shade called, oh god, I don't know, this holo shade, stunning. This shade called Oasis, absolutely stunning. This palette and all the other palettes from them, I really wish I had a collaboration with this brand. I feel like there is like a trend on TikTok or something that's like brands that you would want to work with. Bella Beauté Bar, one of the brands on the list. Definitely like dream, dream. Like... There's so many indie brands that I love and respect that I would love to collab with, but I have to mention, since this is a video with the Bella Beauté Bar palette, I would pass out from shock. Okay, so what do we want to do? I don't know. I want to put all of these on my eye. Butterfly? Are you kidding me? It's like a lime green. This shade, I feel like I have. These two, they're like those traditional multi-chromes that have the black base but these ones oh, I'm gonna start off with this shade is it secrecy I think that's what it says this one secrecy holy holy guacamole hold on to your underwears okay because they're about to come flying off when I swatch this I mean not swatch when I put Oh my god, when I put this on my eyes. I was like so anxious for my kids to nap today, you guys. I was like, please nap. And I knew this package was in my mailbox, but I didn't know what she was sending me. And I didn't know if I could show it. My husband's like, don't worry, like, you know, you're tired too. So if, if they go to sleep, just you sleep. And I'm like, 
Listen, sir. Okay, I'll sleep when I'm dead. Like, that's cool. But I gotta play with this palette because I just, I just need to know, like, is it good? Is it gonna knock my socks off? But how pretty. I feel like I have the Milky Way on my eyeballs right now. So I'm gonna put it, like, almost halfway in my eye. And then I'm gonna go into this shade called Butterfly which is so stunning. I need to do more looks with this palette. It doesn't come out for some time, but listen, okay? You know that in YouTube, it's like one week is like a month. So I couldn't wait. Let me know if you wanna see more looks. I'm sure everybody else on this PR list will also be posting. So I just wanted to get my video done and up so that people would actually get it recommended to them because haha the algorithm it's like this really fun thing where you could do five looks and get the same amount of views as a chatty get ready with me that's just you know hits the algorithm at the right time so it's always a balance with being a creator it's hard it's hard being a creator um, <laughs> I know we all make it look super glamorous, like we just wake up in the morning and we just fart out glitter and eyeshadow looks, but <laughs> there is a lot of work behind it. Anyway, I'm, I'm like loving this. That is so freaking cool. I'm going to throw on mascara and stuff after we're done. So let's play with the blush and highlighter. Okay. So for Fonzies, we're just going to open this up. This is the shade She's the Moment. I don't think I'm going to use this one today because I really want to try out the Give Beauty. Honestly, I just wanted this one because I have all of the Patrick Ta blushes. I did skip out on this new set that he launched just because they were kind of geared towards, I feel like, lighter skin tones. But I feel like this shade would look cuter with this look. So this is the shade Marigold. And it was like a, almost like a red. I feel like I've heard good things about this from people that picked it up during the sale. So I'm excited. I don't feel like I have a lot of favorites from this brand. So let's see how I feel. It's very lightly pigmented, but that's okay. I'd rather build it up than be completely overwhelmed. Okay, pretty. Is it blowing my mind? Eh, it's okay. Like, I feel like I was just like so taken aback by those house blushes. So. It's nice. It's nice. Am I slowly converting back to being a powder blush girly? Who knows? Who knows? Time will tell. But I think that's all the blush I kind of want to put on. So now let's try out the Natasha Denona High Glam. I want to call it a highlighter. Technically, it's like a multi-use product. I saw that she said that you can even put the Hygen Primer on this and like buff it all over your face. I'm not going to do that. I just think it's a really pretty highlighter. I haven't even like used my finger to swatch this. So I'm just going to go in with a brush. Interesting. Okay. Oh, you know, when the light hits it, it just comes alive. Whew. That is super duper highlighter-y. I feel like, oh yeah, I wanted to touch it because I was like, it feels like it's going on like a super shock because it has like that cream to like powdery but Do I look like Rudolph the highlighter reindeer? Okay, so I need to do my lips, my mascara, get this look together and I will be right back to share my thoughts with all these new products I just tested out for you guys. Okay, so the look is done. What do you guys think? Definitely let me know what your thoughts are on this palette down below. Now, really quickly, I just wanna let you know the lip shade I have on today is ABH Parchment. 
This is just such an easy go-to color for me. I really need to reorganize my lip drawer because I have so many other shades, but I just keep reaching for the same stuff in here because it's so close to my filming desk. So disclaimer on that. As far as everything else on my face, really quick, let's run down. Now, I have already talked about this, but I'm really enjoying this foundation. I picked it up during the Sephora sale, so if you're looking for a good, kind of full coveragey, but also very natural looking, long wearing foundation, this is gonna be it for you. I really enjoy that. As far as the Too Faced bronzer stick, I think I'm gonna have to wait and see how I continue to feel about this. I think it is really nice and intensely creamy, which is nice because I feel like it's always so cold in my house. I feel like all my cream bronzers just don't get nice and like emollient so it's hard for me to kind of like rub them on my face the only other one that I can think of right off the top of my head that doesn't do that is the rare beauty bronzer stick which is why I like to use it because it's just so convenient I will definitely keep notes on how I continue to enjoy this as the month progresses and I will report back in my monthly haul for you guys. Okay, the next thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is the Natasha Denona highlighter. And I did pick this up on the Natasha Denona website and I was able to save some money, I used a code. And I think this is a beautiful highlighter. It has that cream to powdery like formula, kind of like a super shock, a little bit of like a putty consistency. It's a very beautiful blinding highlighter as mm. you can see. The only thing I keep wondering about is, do I like this one more than my Fenty Beauty highlighter that I just got in the shade mm. Loose Change? Okay, so I did just look because I was wondering about the price of this one. $48? I spent $48 on this? What the heck? And the Fenty ones are expensive. Those are $40. Now I haven't done like a size comparison or anything, but I will say this one comes in four shades and Fenty I think has like eight or nine shades. So if you don't like the shades that are offered in the Natasha Denona, I highly recommend checking out the Fenty product because it is also one of those kind of like putty cream to powdery formulas without much of a base so it's just like an intense lift from within highlighter so both are lovely but these prices y'all they're getting up there like the eyeshadow palette's like 70 something and 48 I'm still a little bit shook by that anyway so I think it's a beautiful highlighter is it knocking my socks off I would say like a medium like the socks are like slowly flying off but they're not like hurrying off my feet if that makes any sense as far as to give blush I feel kind of like Meh, it's fine like I think that I would compare it to the rare beauty blushes it's very much like that same big doe food liquid blush product but we'll see we'll see I don't really have a ton of thoughts I like the color but again it just looks like a coral shade looks like things I already have which I mean makes sense I gravitate towards those kinds of shades so you shouldn't be too surprised seeing it and I feel like I've been feeling pretty meh about the give line it's not like anything that I'm like oh my gosh you need to try everything from this brand I feel like I have actually tried pretty much everything they've come out with because they don't launch a lot of things. I haven't tried their eyeshadow formula though, so we'll see. Maybe someday they'll make something that interests me enough to try it. Anyways, last but certainly not least, we have to talk about the stunning palette. I will be very honest with you guys. I think this palette kind of like eclipsed my excitement for all the other makeup in this video. And typically I would do like a dedicated video to this palette, which I still have time, so I might do it. But with it being the Sephora sale, I did want to show you guys my second Sephora order as well. But anyways, back to this guy. I think this is a lovely palette. When I first saw the outer packaging, I think I said this in my new makeup releases video as well. I was expecting it to be like a monochromatic palette. But they honestly did something really fun here. I love the inspiration of the Secret Garden. So we have some neutrals. And then we have some beautiful pinks right here. And then the palette I would say is mostly a green palette. You know, half green, quarter pink, quarter neutral kind of palette. I think it's a fun mix and I'm very, very excited for these metallic shades. I feel like I'm such a magpie 
and I'm always drawn to the metallics in a palette but I do love when they have a good balance of mattes as well as shimmer shades so I think this is another top-notch palette from Bella Beauté Bar. I will say I like that they didn't go as big as their pastel palette and their like cool tone palette that they did because I do feel like those palettes can be a little bit overwhelming. This is a really good size. It's not like oversized but it's still bigger than some of their other palettes. So something to keep in mind if you don't love big palettes. I personally think that every shade in here was necessary but I'm also an eyeshadow palette fanatic and I have like tons of eyeshadow palettes. It's like my favorite thing to collect when it comes to makeup. So keep all of that in mind. I just want to mention again that this is a 25 pan eyeshadow palette and it's launching on April 22nd at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. So I will have a post go live on my community tab just in case you guys need that extra reminder to shop. And I'm really excited for them. I think they have some other cool products launching as well. Definitely let me know down in the comments if you want to see more with this palette. And I will see you guys in another video very, very soon. Bye for now!